So it's been about seven years since the last Toho Godzilla film, Shin Godzilla, and we're finally getting a new one called Godzilla Minus One. This video is going to serve as a couple things. It's mainly going to be like a, my impressions on everything that we've seen so far, slash what we know so far of the movie. Uh, starting off, we're going to be talking about the design. And the design, I have the picture up to my left. If you see me like looking, I'm just glancing over at it just so I give like more thoughts on it. Um, but the design looks great. Um, it looks a more traditional like Godzilla design as opposed to Shin Godzilla design, which is, I feel, that fits that version of Godzilla. And I feel like that's fine. And I really like that Shin Godzilla design, especially with like how horrifying the eyes and like the mouth and the faces. And I, the fact that it looks like a mushroom cloud and everything too. Like, I think that design is great for that film. But this design, I feel like I probably like it. I don't know if I like it more or not. We're gonna have to see the film to find out to see if it serves the design. But the design is more traditional. It fits, I feel, Godzilla, of course. It's more, like, I feel like it reminds me of Heisei slash, obviously, Millennium. And even, obviously, I feel like more so, it's the Godzilla The Ride that came out, which has the same director as this movie. Which makes sense why, then, the Godzilla design is really similar. Not only did Yamazaki direct The Ride, but he also directed a film called Always Sunset on Third Street and the two sequels after it. However, the second film had a dream sequence that featured a Godzilla in that film that I feel like kind of leads into his overall maybe feel slash like design con like conception of his version of Godzilla. But overall, I mean, I really like it. The big dorsal friends remind me of Millennium. Uh, dope, dope, dope design. Got the big feet and everything. And I feel like it looks, at least from the trailer, that he might be smaller or slash back to the original size of Godzilla, which was which Godzilla in the original film wasn't I mean, it was obviously, you know, gargantuan, but he wasn't like, you know, like Monsterverse or Shin Godzilla size. He was, you know, a bit smaller, I believe like 50 something meters or something. So because in that trailer, we did see a glimpse of the foot. And while the foot looked obviously huge, it wasn't like overbearingly huge, if that makes any sense. Like, I, I don't know, like you compare it to like the like the foot that we saw in Godzilla 2014 with Gareth Edwards that made the humans look like ants right and like these even though we look like ants I feel like the perspective of the camera for that shot didn't make it look like absurdly like you know that we can't fight this thing but anyway I really like the design I like the long arms back again so dope 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 10 out of 10 or you know two thumbs up for me for now until we see the rest of the movie I forgot to mention this but one thing I wanted to mention is that the design also kind of gives me like Stan Winston vibes I believe is the one that created that design for the first draft for the American Godzilla film in 98 but obviously they didn't use that design and they went for the more iguana lizard approach so what we know so far about the film is that it's set in post World War II and the whole tagline for minus one is, is just supposed to mean that like basically World War II set Japan back to zero and then Godzilla is just like, oh, you guys are down on your luck. I'm gonna make it even worse because base <laughs> the tagline is just saying Godzilla shows up and like set Japan back into the negatives. So it's like Godzilla is really beating down on Japan when they're down when they're at zero so that's why I, I thought it was an interesting title it doesn't really exactly roll off the tongue uh and when you think about a godzilla film obviously you think of like shin godzilla or just godzilla versus whatever but godzilla minus one is an okay title it's not it's not my favorite but I, for the theme of the film i think it works There's two things I want to talk about bringing it back to the design, though. The first thing was, I remember when 2014 Godzilla got announced, or, like, I had heard rumblings of, like, you know, early Twitter, early YouTube, whatever, early movie, like, you know, podcast type of things about a Godzilla film being in the works in America. And I remember being a, a youngling, and I saw the, you know, Always Sunset dream sequence of Godzilla, and for the longest time, I used to think that that was supposed to be the Gareth Edwards Godzilla, because obviously, I mean, we've all got caught by it, by, by it on early YouTube, especially like the, you know, Spider-Man 4 with Carnage and all that stuff, right? Like, it was nonsense, but uh, it wasn't until years later that I was like, oh, that's not even, like, that's a different, that's an entirely different film. 
but and then the second thing is uh, the second thing is i'm just surprised that we've seen it like so much the film like they showed the teaser they first they showed the poster the poster had a cool glimpse of it like at least his face and the side a little bit they had the trailer which you saw the foot maybe the tail and then you saw the face when he bit down on the train you know favorite a common and favorite uh snack for godzilla but then the thing that interested me was all the promo like the movie doesn't come out till december for us and then november in japan but all the promo like i think it was like buttons toys like sh monster arts already has like like i don't know when the pre-orders are going live but they literally already have images of the sculpt that you can buy soon and order they have a bunch of stuff already out for marketing and i'm just surprised and i'm just thinking uh a friend of my garage he was also like oh this was you know this means there's a serious about like this movie being you know really good or you know marketing it especially because it's coming out in america a month later maybe even a couple weeks later which i don't think toho has done that first chance maybe godzilla 2000 because but the original came out in 99 and shin godzilla came out i think straight to dvd and blu-ray but it probably had a limited run in theaters but it's coming out in, in, in america too probably a limited time too so it kind of makes sense i guess that the marketing would be a little bit more heavier trying to like like appeal to america and japan but it's interesting though because it I, I was not expecting to see the full design like like that like a day after the trailer, or even like hours after the trailer. I thought they were gonna save it for another trailer where they're gonna do like a full reveal or something, maybe a different kaiju, which we'll get into in a sec. But yeah, just surprised that they showed the full design like a day after the trailer. Okay, and the last thing I wanna talk about for this movie is what is it gonna be about? Because very obviously Shin Godzilla was obviously a new origin and so is this movie, but it also dealt with, I believe like, you know, the government, the economic struggles in Japan and stuff like that with the commentary. And at times even like a satirical almost comedy of like the Japanese government. But this movie is going to be at a time where Japan's at its lowest. So it's going to be really dark. But is it going to be, which I'm assuming means that they're also their military forces aren't going to be really up to snuff. So my question is, is what is this movie going to be in terms of a Godzilla film? Is it going to be, because like, it, it lands in one of two camps for Godzilla films, a really dark and serious commentary or a kind of Showa-esque fun romp action stuff where you kind of don't even care about the humans and disregard everything. Much like the MonsterVerse is kind of becoming, I feel like the MonsterVerse is more, like kind of honors or falls in line with the Showa kind of spirit a little bit slash Heisei. But this movie can land in the middle because I feel like the way the trailer's tone sets up, it could be really dark. But it doesn't mean it can't be either because I know Godzilla 2014 and even like, you know, Shin... It, it, like it had the other monsters and stuff but it was a little bit darker um literally but is godzilla gonna fight another monster in this movie and who is it gonna be my bet and my wish he's not my favorite kaiju but i just feel like it's been so long unless i'm misremembering i would love if they harken back to godzilla raids again uh, or the english that was the english name and bring back Angiris because Angiris, I like the last time I remember like, the last memory I have of Angiris was he was just getting pummeled by the what was it? Uh, I all the like the last image I have was Mecha Godzilla like just destroying him in that in the God, I believe the original Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla, like that was just sad to behold. But yeah, I, I would like to see Angiris because I I personally do think Angiris would be really cool in like the more modern setting of all the new vfx because i mean it's an armad like a giant like you know dinosaur armadillo thing and like the amount of destruction that can happen and like the fights could be interesting but honestly i don't know what the movie's gonna be about it just says it's post japan setting japan even more back let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below what do you think it's gonna be about do you think it's gonna be a little fighting situation or is it gonna be another attempt to kind of recreate the you know sarazawa type thing where they're gonna make another oxygen destroyer um recreating the original movie but you know reimagining it for a different era um i kind of hope it's not that because at this point it'll be cool obviously but it's like the film the original film is great it still holds up in my opinion and I don't think we need another retreading of that. I think you should go the dark and maybe playful side of things. But 
we'll see. We're just going to have to see if they make us care about the human characters as much as they want us to. But um, and it could also differentiate it a little bit from the last film in the Toho franchise, which was, again, more like a satirical, the serious like commentary on the government. And also, I believe from the footage I saw from the ride and stuff, like this guy can really do action for Godzilla. Like it feels very giant. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'll be interested to see what happens with this film and like what it's going to be about. But let me know what you guys want it to be in the comment section down below. What do you think about Godzilla's new design? Uh, what do you think about like, you know, are you guys going to go see it opening day? Because I for sure, like I for damn sure, it's going to be at the end of my semester. I'm going to celebrate by going to go see that. All that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.